out. If you give us the size of what you're looking for, we'll build them and send them out to you. But otherwise, all they are is two foot tall aluminum panels. They come in two foot increments as far as the end members here. We can close the box in and make the box completely four sided. Or we can have the spreaders in there and leave make it a two sided box. Um, one of the other things that's nice about it, utilities, you guys working on water lines or whatever utilities <laughs> you have, legally you can be two feet off the bottom, you know, for, for OSHA compliance. You can actually just leave the bottom panels out all the way around and you'll have your two foot of clearance for any utilities that are coming through into the excavation. Um, but this also comes in a, I believe it's a six by six aluminum si uh, panel. I can actually take 50 feet deep. So it's a lightweight, very versatile system that'll fit in the back of a pickup truck or on the trailer. And it just no, I mean, you can do so many different things with it versus a standard steel trench box where you're eight feet long and eight feet, uh, eight feet tall, you know, and whatever width spreaders. Uh, the spreaders that are on here are adjustable. You can actually go from the narrowest being 27 inches all the way out to 96 inches with these spreaders. So all you're doing is pulling these pins stretch your box out and now you have more versatility with your trench box. Can you make that trench box longer? Absolutely. They, the, the longest panels that, that the box comes in is 14 foot <clears throat> but there's actually T connectors where we can if you wanted to go 28 feet we can put a T connector in here and run another 14 foot section of the panel. So then all you do is put your spreaders inside of it and that'll leave you. They actually even have a T connector where actually we can do a T configuration with the box. So I can make whatever design I want uh, with, the, with the trench box so that I'm not limited to doing a, just a straight hole. So if you guys have something, we can run them at 90 degree angles. We can, we can run these boxes just about at any direction you need to run them. So but if you are having to go all the way down, these are, these are actually a lay kit that goes at the bottom. We'd actually just put it down on the bottom and it pins here with the holes on the back side. Go up in six inch increments so you can raise the box up off the bottom if you did leave all your panels in. Here your lifting lugs. Uh, uh, yes, sir. I just, if you've got an elevation change, you can adjust it. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah, if you had an elevation change, you can actually take these panels. You can you can change that panel six inches, and you can actually have the panel sticking up six inches. So any elevation changes, you can do that. Or if you're using that, that T-connector, again, you, we've actually done them where we stair-step the boxes, going up from 12 feet, coming up to six feet tall, and just stair-step the boxes going all the way out. So very versatile. All your lifting lugs, all right inside the box, so they recess down the side of it. Stackable? Absolutely stackable. There's a, the stacking the tubes, which I don't have, look just like this. So there's a two inch square steel tube, slides on the top, and you just keep on going up with the box. But just a very versatile system, like I said, that, you know, to go, these come in two foot, the end members come in two foot tall, four, six, and eight. And then the panels are two foot, they're two foot tall panels, and they go two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen foot lengths. Very simple system. And those run on hydraulic to push them out? No, these are actually static. They're just a static where you just pull these. You just have to pull them out on both sides. So you just open the box up. You can lay the box down, pick it up, pin it in six inch increments to whatever width you need to go. Most of the configurations we would use would be open on either end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can put spreaders in, in both sides of it. Uh, like I said, you can put panels on one side. It just depends on what, what configuration you need to do, what uh, what utilities you have coming in, or whatever utilities you guys are working on. We can, we can do just about anything with the box. But just lightweight, like I said, you can throw it in the back of the pickup truck. I could have put this whole system in the back of my truck. <laughs>